Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope everyone is doing good, uh, learning a lot of stops and hopefully grabbing a lot of bounties. Today I am back with another bug bounty POC which will cover IDOR. And if you haven't accessed my playlist on bug bounty POC explained, then you can go ahead and access this play playlist. So without uh, any further delay, let's get started. Alright, let's get into it. So before getting into this video, I'll just uh, explain that uh, this particular attack needs two account. So one will be treated as an attacker and the another one will be treated as victim. So as you can see, I have uh, the, both these account. One is localhost 1507, which is an attacker account and uh, one is Mr. Venom for you, uh, which is a victim account. These are the user ID for both the account. This can be easily grabbed uh, from the sales page. So if you if you go to the sales page, you can also you can get to know uh, the domain that they own and the user ID. So let me play this video. So if you if you have to make sure that you have two accounts that uh, we have already discussed from there, uh, what you have to do is uh, from attackers account, you have to go to sales and click on add a lead. So this video will explain that before that it uh, it shows that uh, what is the account uh, that they use. Uh, for example, if you go to the about you page, you can see this is the malicious uh, attacker user and this is the attacker account. And see this is the username that has already been there that is the localhost uh, 0715. And once you go to this account page, this one, you can see this is the account for innocent uh, victim. So I'm using two different browser to actually uh, exploit this and to demonstrate it. So yeah, this is confirmed that this is the particular innocent victim as and as you can see it uh, like it has owned a domain named divino.tech. So let us start playing it. Well, so this is this is one thing that needs to be taken care of and if you see the next step, so from attackers account what we are doing is we are going to the sales page and uh, we are adding a lead. Let's see how, how it is done. And we need to fill the required details and capture the request in Bobsort and we need to replace. So the main thing here is we need to uh, replace the attackers user ID to the victim user ID. Uh, and the attacker control domain that will be specifying there to a victim control domain. So in this case, I already have the uh, user ID for both the attacker and victim. So I'll change this uh, attacker's uh, user ID to victim user ID and I'll change the domain from uh, attacker's domain that is crudepanda.tech to divino.tech. So let us see how, how it can be done. Okay, now as you can see, we uh, went to the sales page, and if you see, we are going to the active, uh, like add a lead. You can, here you can see the point here is uh, this lead can only be added uh, to the user account who has owned it. Suppose, for example, uh, this is the attacker account, so he can add that lead for for the domain he owned. Okay, so in that case, let us see. Uh, there are no leads so this is the domain that the attacker uh, has access to like it has added this domain to their domain page and uh, if you see they have selected like uh, from this uh, buyer name also they have uh, added the email id of the buyer they will uh, like uh, have added the phone number and 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 all and the offer amount that needs to be specified. Uh, so guys, this is my email ID, I'll, I'll, but uh, please don't uh, send spam emails. So yeah, now you have to capture that request. So what I did was uh, I intercept, uh, like kept my intercept on and uh, I'll add the lead uh, as you can see in this video. And I have to change this particular user ID uh, attacker's user id to victim's user id so let us see how it is done so as you can see this is the request uh, that i had captured and after that i sent it to repeater 
and in the repeater uh, and I dropped this request so it will not add the lead uh, so what what happens was I went to the repeater and as you can see this has a user ID and this has a domain name also if you see here okay so let us uh, play this video again so what we will do is uh, we will change this user ID to the victim's user ID and this uh, domain that is owned by the victim so let us do it and this will this will go like this will uh, send an email to the particular email id that we have used and uh, as you can see i am changing this particular user id here for example it was before it was uh, 130961 now it will be 130964 yes and uh, the domain before it was crude tech and i'll change it to diviner.tech yeah and after that what I will do is I will forward this request I will send this request this has been changed now the request has been sent and you can see I am getting a successful 200 ok response now if you go to uh, this email id that you have added for example this one this is my email id that i have added and you can see i have got an email from dan.com that uh, uh, the owner of this particular email uh, this particular domain uh, has informed to like add a uh, offer and once you confirm this transaction so yeah as you can see this is the email id that uh, i have used and where the email came from now if you just go to this confirm page and you confirm it so the successful confirmed uh, this request will go to the attackers dashboard and you can see in this data dashboard you are you have uh, added this lid which was previously not there so this is this is how you can actually exploit it but it was fixed uh, quite a long time ago and uh, yeah so this is this is a classic example of uh, idor where i was able to add any uh, add a lead for any account uh, for like any account whose user id and uh, i know who, who which is the user id that they own and uh, with that if i know of what exactly the domain they own then i can add any lead uh, for them this will create an behavior where i am trying to like add leads which is uh, only allowed to the existing user suppose for example the victim user has this particular domain diviner.tech so he is the only person who can actually uh, add any lead for that particular domain but in this case as you can see i've showed you uh, we have did that uh, with a different account with a attacker account so that is all i have for this video i hope uh, you enjoyed it uh, you liked it and i'll be posting more videos on bug bounty POCs and there are other topics as well to get covered in so if you like uh, like this video if it if you learned something from this hit a like subscribe and thank you i'll see you in the next video